Hello friends. Today we will discuss about throat chakra. It is also known by the name Vishuddhi chakra. As its name indicates, it is a uh, it indicates the purity. The location of this throat chakra is at the base of the neck, and uh, the organs which are directly impacted by this throat chakra or Vishuddhi chakra are thyroid. parathyroid glands larynx and tongue vishuddhi translates literally as pure especially pure the significance of vishuddhi is that it signifies the purification of our thoughts the purity of our words and the purity of our actions in turn it enables us to embrace our real true self and the persons who have balanced activated throat chakra they communicate with absolute clarity honesty and compassion throat chakra is connected to major three quality that is communication the expressing yourself that means self expression and speak out your inner truth the color which is associated with this throat chakra is blue sky blue it in, it indicates the space element and uh, the blue color of the sky that is blue color it indicates purity the uh, happiness celebrations and then peace so purity happiness and peace they are the inherent qualities of the space element that is throat chakra bij mantra which reverberates or resonates with the frequency of the throat or this area is hum if in a meditative state we uh, speak or we uh, say this mantra speak this mantra and uh, bringing our concentration or uh, awareness at the throat this will start activating the throat chakra we will use this in the meditation technique already explained that this vishuddhi chakra is responsible for communication the self expression and your ability to speak the absolute pure truth now how we can identify that that whether this chakra is balanced that means open or activated or it is blocked the some of the major characteristics of a blocked or unbalanced throat chakras are like this the person is fearful in speaking out speaking out the truth he finds it difficult to express his or her thought and sometimes he feel very anxious or very uh, he he feels difficult in expressing his thoughts and then he he, he can't communicate he can't speak out in public then he sometimes he uh, displays outburst of emotions or sometimes he may remain very very quiet or even he may refuse to talk or speak he is very critical of himself and he may be critical of others also he may feel very very timid and shy and sometimes he talks without thinking also dishonesty insensitivity insecurity creeps into his personality and he has difficulty in making sound decisions now what are the physical symptoms how we can identify that, that there is a blocked or unbalanced throat chakra hoarseness is one of the uh, sign symptoms chronic sore throat then such persons have ulcers in his mouth he has he may have gum problems he may have inflammations in his larynx that is in his voice box that that may be because of our use irritation or infection then he may have thyroid issues then he may have neck pain stiffness in the neck and other issues related to the neck and shoulders already told that neck pain and stiffness is one of the major issues hoarseness dental disorders because gum problems and dental problems that is also related to throat chakra ear ache kaano mein jo dard hota hai hearing issues may be there now how we can balance throat chakra i have listed out certain things like 
you should include blue color in your life you should wear uh, blue clothes you should have uh, blue color in your bed you may have some blue color in your office also so if you have difficulty in communication or you have some communication problem or you have some problems related to your throat or through problem related to your neck then you can include these, these blue colors in your life then you can do kurum kriya i'll explain in the subsequent slide what is kurum kriya then you can do sing kriya roar like a lion then you can have po yoga poses like fish pose and neck exercises then you can have sarvangasan you can have some reiki session reiki session is very very important you can if you have some uh, throat problem or neck problem you can use the reiki sessions then you can use the bees mantra for meditation purposes you can be quiet you can have maun for some time and then writing is also basically very good for uh, activating your throat chakra and as far as the uh, physiology is concerned you should have a neck in line with your spine that means your spine as well as the neck should be in a straight line then eat healthy diets and uh, there are certain affirmations so all these things we will discuss in subsequent slides first how we can activate throat chakra one is first one is including blue color in your life so it is very uh, important blue color activate your vishuddhi chakra it promote openness tranquility and harmony in your communication so you can have clothes clothing you have room colors you have bed sheets in office in house you can include uh, blue color in your environment you can see blue color at the throat by visualizing blue color at the throat will also activate the throat chakra so this is one thing then this uh, second activating procedure is kurum kriya as you know kurum is basically tortoise if you closely observe tortoise it basically always uh, its neck is moving up and down or sideways so the person who uh, exercises his neck more often his longevity will improve and then uh, his throat chakra will be activated how it can be done very simple you can you can do it three times or six times or nine times or 12 cycles you can do at a stretch i'll do one cycle for you so it is very simple uh, first of all you be at the center of your uh, center and then inhale inhale for four second move towards the right hold for four second then come back and then say ah ah stay here for stop for four second inhale and then move towards the left stop for four second then come back and pronounce o o stop move upward inhale stop come down same e e stop for four second inhale for four second come down stop come back saying mo it completes one cycle so you should either do three cycles or six cycles or nine cycles or 12 cycles it's better to do at least six cycles and uh, it will activate your throat chakra then you can have activation by sing asana it's very simple uh, sit in a vajrasana bring your hands forward bring your hands in front of your knees and then slightly bend forward and then inhale and then breathe out uh, taking out your tongue and say ah like this so you should do four five cycles 
like this this is a singha asana this also activate your throat chakra fish pose this is very good for the uh, your throat chakra and your neck what you do you lie down on your back bring your feet in a kamal lotus pose that is padmasana keep on lying down then lift your upper back complete back and rest on your leg your buttocks and your head and your back should be lifted up be in this position for uh, 10 15 seconds then be in a normal position do this 3 4 times this is one of the best exercise for activating your throat chakra then you have few exercises neck exercises very simple every one of you know it you can i'll take out this you can make it like this and push forward you push this backward and neck forward then bring your forward backward and then push the neck forward uh, backward and your hand forward put a pressure on your shoulders your neck this is very good for the neck muscles and your throat chakra then you can do it like this push in opposite directions your head and your neck should be exactly opposite as far as the force is concerned stay here for some time then do this for other side I repeat this two three cycles this is also very good for your uh, uh, activating the throat chakra sarvangasan if any one of you know you can do it sarvangasan is very good for your uh, upper back and your neck muscles this sarvangasan this is halasan one is sarvangasan the other one is halasan both these you can do this is considered to be one of the best exercise for the uh, throat chakra activation if you know reiki you can give reiki to the throat chakra you can invoke the reiki and then give energy either with touch healing or distance healing to the throat chakra this will be very good for activating your throat chakra and even if you don't know reiki you can just inhale try uh, invoke the uh, the life force energy from the universe and let it flow through my hand just invoke with true uh, intention then it will start flowing from your hand and then place this hand on your uh, throat chakra and be there for about 4 or 5 minutes it will heal your throat chakra you can do the activation of the third uh, throat chakra with beej mantra also you can sit with your back and neck straight and uh, eyes softly closed and then uh, bring your awareness on the throat on your neck and pronounce this mantra hum 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 your awareness should be on your throat neck position hum hum you can do it for about 5 10 minutes this is for this mantra reverberates it resonates with the frequency of vibrations of the throat so very good for activation of uh, throat chakra you can remain silent or maun for as far as you want maun maun chakra maun uh, keeping maun or keeping silent for few hours will activate your throat chakra and second thing is if you keep on writing something writing with hands also activate your throat chakra then we should have neck always whenever wherever you are whether you are walking you are sitting whether you are sitting on a chair or you are talking to someone you are seeing the television whatever you are doing your back and your neck should be in alignment that itself will start activating your vishuddhi chakra then have healthy food you have balanced food you include balanced things in your food and then include lot of fruits and vegetables in your diet and uh, if you include about 70% of fruits and vegetables in your diet it will definitely clean 
cleans your lymph system and blood system and your gut system and that will itself create the healthy metabolism healthy throat chakra and then, uh, let us have some affirmations you can just sit with your eyes closed back and neck straight and then say with me say with me i express myself with clarity and confidence and have the ability to handle thoughts and emotions fostering effective communication in all areas of my life be it personal or professional i embrace my true self express my authentic thoughts and feelings and i am genuine and honest in interactions deepening my connections and fostering more meaningful relationships i am creative and my inspiration and ideas flow freely and effortlessly i have a sense of self assurance and empowerment i stand in my own power and express myself authentically without hesitation so if you speak such affirmations it will add another dimensions to your throat chakra and it will start getting activated you can include ujjayi pranayam also i will not include in this but you can uh, then breathing through the throat you can just breathe as if you are breathing through the throat you breathe in through the throat and breathe out through the throat although you are breathing from anywhere but you while your eyes are closed you imagine that your air is entering your throat and when we exhale out imagine that air is going out from your throat so breathing through the throat also activates your throat chakra friends i have given links for the courses which i have launched it is uh, these courses are for uh, diabetes for blood pressure and then for anxiety for depression and for cancer the links are given in the description box anyone who is suffering from these mental uh, physical or mental or emotional conditions he can click on these links and uh, go to the courses directly they are priced at a very nominal price uh, please subscribe my channel uh, share comments and like and uh, do comments and uh, please tell me in which areas you want me to make videos thank you so much